you will require a retort stand, a burette, a burette clamp, a funnel, glass, or plastic, and a burette card. Start by securing the burette clamp to the retort stand. Next, pick up the burette and make sure the stopcock is in the horizontal position, which is closed. If it's in the vertical position, fluid will come out when trying to fill up the burette. Take a funnel and place it at the top of the burette. Next, you want to add about 10 to 20 milliliters of the solution. Remove the funnel. Now you need to tilt the burette on its side and ensure even coating of the interior. You will also need to tilt it back and forth with your fingers to ensure even coating on the entirety of the burette. Once finished, you need to replace it onto the burette clamp. Take a separate waste beaker and place it underneath. Ensure it is fully drained. It is important to repeat this three times. Next, remove the burette and place it in the clamp closest to you. Before filling the burette, you need to make sure the top of the burette is at mouth or nose level so it is easier to fill. Place the glass funnel into the burette. When filling the burette with the funnel, ensure that the funnel is not forming a seal between itself and the opening of the burette. This will ensure that there is not an airlock inside of the burette. Now slowly pour your solution into the burette, making sure not to overfill. Once finished, remove the funnel. If you are right hand dominant, you need to operate the stopcock with your left hand. Place your middle finger and index finger underneath the stopcock as shown. Place your thumb on top of your middle finger and use that to engage and disengage the stopcock. If you are left hand dominant, you need to operate the stopcock with your right hand. Place your index and middle finger underneath the stopcock and operate it with your thumb on top of your middle finger. You can engage and disengage the stopcock this way. Be sure to drain the solution to below 0.00. .00. We recommend 1 milliliter for easy math. Using the burette card on a dark solution can make it hard to understand where the meniscus is. So for a dark solution as such, it is usually ignored. On the other hand, a colorless solution, when using the burette card behind it, it is very easy to see the meniscus and is very helpful in this situation. It is important to make sure the stopcock is in the closed position before cleaning. You need to start by adding some soapy water directly to the top of the burette. You then need to tilt it 
assuring no solution spills out. Tilt it back and forth to ensure even coating of the bottom, and tilt it towards yourself to coat the entire burette. You need to repeat this three times. Also, drain into a separate white. Lastly, after fully draining into the waste container, you need to return the stopcock to the closed position. Now you will start by adding tap water directly to the burette and rinse out the inside using the same process as before with the soapy water, tilting and rotating it towards yourself. Drain into the same waste beaker and repeat this three times.